Seoi otoshi, Seoi means to carry over across the back, okay? Otoshi means to drop, drop down with control, kind of trapping you too. So, I'm going to have Eric throw, or Derek throw Eric, uh, just go ahead and throw him on so you can kind of take a look at it, okay? Now, watch, watch Derek's right knee. Watch Derek's right knee. See that? that where that right knee points is where he wants to put Eric. Okay. So when you're doing this, whether you're doing a, a rotate style, both hands, or a lapel, or you show the pawn style, which I'm a big tall guy, I like the pawn style, in any of those ways, in the hand configurations, you want to do is you're cutting that standard soya, soya nagi type thing, but you're going to drop on one knee, and that's going to be between his legs. Now, you can have your foot here, you can have your foot out here. I would recommend having it a little wider so you get more power in your throw when you finish. Okay? Because you want to have it here, that's fine too. But you're still going to be driving off that foot. So there's the situation you're going to be throwing. And again, you want to stay round. You want to be round under him and roll him and actually torque him so hard over, his over your body. So that's what you're doing. So let's take a look at that. And just do it real slow. Comes on in, and, and he comes in, and look at the drop on that. You see him? It's hard to be slow, actually. Now, when he drops on his knee, turn around with your, your, your back. Watch, when he comes in, watch his right foot. Now, don't throw him, he's just come on in and fit in. Now, look, see that? He's on his toe. He's not flat on his toe, flat on his toe. You don't want to be there. You want to be there. That's bad. Now do the good thing. There you go. That's a good thing. That's what you want to be. So let's turn it about. That way you can drive off it with a knee to it. Right? So watch when he comes in. He fits in. And did you notice his left leg as well? He kind of, which I like, put it out to the side of it. Some people put it just in front of him. Either way is good. Whatever works better for you. Okay? I find out wider allows me to kind of turn. Yeah, that's a really good point. Right here, which again makes him fall right there. If it's out here like this, I have a tendency to throw right there, and that's less powerful. That's a good point. Derek brought up a good point because a lot of people who have the foot here, they have to, he's loaded in, he has to use more strength to jack me up and over his body. If he puts his foot out to the side more, see how he can stay rounded? And he has more rotational torque there, you know, really slamming. So I think that works. That's why I prefer that method as well. One more time, and Eric loves this. But look more. Now, again, whether it's Ponce Nagi, Morote, or Eddie Snail, any, any of those work. But you can do double sleeve, either one. But uh, let's just watch his feet, maybe, okay? Classic Sayonara and Toshi. Actually, screw ourselves into the mat, like I say, and watch, watch his feet. His knees are going to be pointed to the left, hip to the right. When he swings in, you see it's a round movement. Remember, judo and sambo. When you throw, you want to stay round. They're not straight line activities. They're rounded. So when he finishes, he, he rounds. This is called kime, or finishing the technique. Bam. That's that finish. Sorry, man. That finish. Okay. I'm going kimei. to spin under him. What I call screw myself into the mat. Okay. Where I want to go under him. And I'm going to go deep between the legs here, and we'll, we'll just kind of watch. I'm going to turn around just to walk here. Now watch me spin under him. It's hard not to throw the guy because you spin under him so deep. Huh? Really? Lock the boots. Lock the end. Wait. See on? Now from here, we go right here. I'll say.
we, we want the kinetic energy rather than going down. Derek wants to turn and screw him and throw him, screw him over and throw him over his body. But watch, this is the wrong way to do it. He's going to do the flop and drop. Now that's just going to hurt your knees. You see the knees are wide, they're square, it's not a strong movement. Okay? I'm, I'm back, my balance is way back here. I can't drive off my feet anymore because my toes are flat, right? So we don't want to do that. So just avoid that when you're doing this style, okay? We've been working on Seiwe Toshi tonight, and there are a lot of ways to do Seiwe Toshi. Seiwe means to carry over the back, what you may call the shoulder, uh, the shoulder drop, okay, carry over the back drop. Now, we're going to do another Seiwe Toshi that some of you taller guys may like, okay, or the shorter guy may like it too, uh, but if you're a Taiyo Toshi guy, you really like this, because you're going to be basically doing a Taiyo Toshi with a Seiwe Nagi grip. But when you're doing this, you're not using it as a hand technique like this. It's still a hand technique, don't give me a or shoulder technique. You're not going to be doing this. You're going to be wrapping it tight and rotating. So it's a little more powerful throw. It's more of a powerful style of Tayotoshi, really, than we're doing here. So can you just demo just one of them? There you go. So it's what that look like? It's like Taiyo Toshi with a Soyanagi grip, because that's really what it is. So we combine the two, we combine Soyanagi and Taiyo Toshi. So it's very obvious that now it's Soyo Toshi. Key thing here is, generally Taiyo Toshi, when I'm throwing it, I'm throwing it a lot over my leg. Soyo Toshi, I'm throwing it more over my hip and the back. I'm carrying it over my back. So it needs to carry over the back. So that's what we're doing here. So when you watch him, you see that's what he's doing with Eric. It's more of a shoulder throw than less of over the leg, less of a hand throw. Even though they're both classified as Tewaza in judo, hand techniques, it, this is much more about using the shoulder and rotation of the body than with the hands. Okay? So when you come to the wrestle, basically you're going to style. He fall style, okay. He's coming in. And it's going to be looking just like Tayotoshi, everybody. When he spins in, don't throw yet. See this? There's the rule. But notice here, ball of foot, he can flex. He doesn't want to hurt his opponent's knee. Okay? But he's got more hip in here than he would if he had Tayotoshi. And he's loading him up more on the upper body. When he goes in and completes the throw, he's using him more over the hip and more over the, the shoulder, over the back end. That's what makes it a Seiwei Motoshi, all right? Subtle differences, but they're there. And it's fun to know those subtle differences because you might think, I can, I can make it, uh, this will be working for me as opposed to Tayotoshi may not. So I want you to know those differences. Okay. Any questions on that? Uh, so just like with the rest of them, you really have to control the shoulder. And how you do that is entirely dependent upon you. But just realize that whatever grip we're taking, it's this lead shoulder that I'm controlling when I come through. So as I'm coming around, you notice that it comes with it. So whenever my shoulder is moving, his is right there. That way, when I do flex, since he's coming over my back, he comes right over with it. Any space in between there is going to kill your, your sailor. You know, here's a good point. We talk about staying around all the time. Here's a good example. If, if, if I came in and tried to launch him forward, can fall forward, I don't have any control over my body or his either. You notice when, when Eric or Derek is throwing Eric, he's putting him down right in front of him. And that's, I mean, he's, that's a precise throw. He, he, he knows exactly because there I can follow up with some kind of a ground technique, or I just threw him really hard and ended the fight. You know, so it could be that too. Notice Derek, what's that little Frankie style pop? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's, yeah the Jim Brangman, we picked up off Jim. 
a little pop at the end. Show that a little bit, because that's, that's pretty good showing. Okay, so, again, once we're coming through, since I have my legs flexed, I can actually pop up from it. Okay? And then the back of my thigh, as I'm popping, it gives me a spring, but the back of the thigh is actually connecting with his leg, sending him back over that way. Great point, Mike. Thanks. <laughs> and you know, she said that when he was taking the fall. Yeah. But you got the idea. You see how that spring was there? And that's, that added more, more power, more force to the throw. I mean, it, you launched him. And he ended the fight right there. Okay? Because this is one of those throws that can end the fight. Whether it's a street fight, judo match, sambo match, whatever it may be, you can clock him. MMA match. MMA, whatever. But you notice how he put him right in front of him. He didn't have to land on him to control and finished with good control. He didn't need to fall down, right? So Sarah Toshi, this is more of a Tayotoshi style, but it's still Sarah Toshi, right? Let's work on that. We'll get